Pathfinder has several built-in tools to help you both filter your data and also to select files. Now, filter is really used if you want to, uh, say, search for something within a folder. Now, for instance, this is my downloads folder. Again, as you can see at the bottom, there are 142 items in here. Now, I know that I have got a disk image uh, connected with Google Chrome, uh, but I'm not too sure what it's called, but I know Chrome is in the title. So if I go to the filter box and type Chrome, you'll see straight away the uh, entire folder is uh, filtered and just the one entry appears now with Google Chrome where Chrome is embedded within the file name. So that's just filtering. That's just a way of uh, reducing the number of entries and finding specific uh, files within a folder. Filtering isn't just limited to the name. There are additional attributes that we can use to filter on and you can access those by going to the entry box and clicking on the spotlight uh, icon. And as you can see here, we have a list of our recent searches, but here we have two additional filters. We can filter by extension and also by kind. But in addition, we can also use this panel to do a standard spotlight search, computer home selection and servers, or what's called a Pathfinder fast search. And this will search uh, externally from spotlight and find those things that aren't indexed by spotlight or get direct access to the spotlight panel. Now, select is slightly different. Now, let's say I wanted to uh, select and copy across all the CSV files in this particular folder, say across to my drop stack for processing later. Uh, now, as you can see, there are some CSV files here, but they're in different case. And uh, you'd really have to sort through the whole list to find them all. But you can use the select tool. Now, if I go to uh, this icon here, click on select, you'll see we have the options for name, extension, attributes, kind, and date. If I go to extension and say CSV, and then do a select. Okay, that's found. It's actually found most of them, um, but it's not found these uppercase ones. So, so I can select ignore case and select, and that's them all selected. Um, I can select and close. So all those files are now selected, and I can just drag them across to my drop stack. It's possible also to do a more sophisticated select. So again, for example, if I go back into the select tool, uh, we still select by CSV. So we'll say, uh, Select, yep, there's all our CSV files in both cases. Let's say we want to extend the selection. Uh, let's say I want to select any files that start with SCO, because I know there are a few SCO files in there. It doesn't really matter what type they are. I just want to select those as well. Uh, we'll say select and close. Right, so it's found uh, a folder called SCO theme, all my CSV files, uh, banktransactions.csv, download.csv, and then down the bottom, yep all the files beginning with SCO as well. And again, now these are selected, I can just drag and say, drop them onto my drop stack. And there we go, there's another 25 items. Okay, so that's selection. Now there is also a find tool, and this will just pop up a panel to allow you to create a complex find across, uh, well, across your whole machine if needs be.